Hello, dear students. Already I have started second unit and uh, you have watched one of my videos on it wherein I have discussed uh, what is MSME and uh, the features, functions, etc. Now, let us understand uh, industry and types of industry with the help of uh, some slides. And uh, here I would like to tell you what is industry and what are the types of industries and uh, how to start these kind of industries and how they are important in economic growth, etc. Okay, come friends, let us uh, understand the meaning of industry. It, me it means production of goods and services to satisfy human wants by creating for utility. As you know very well, human wants are unlimited and to satisfy the human wants, we need goods and services. They are to be produced and industry is helping us in producing the goods and services. It refers to the branch of business activity which is concerned with the raising production, processing or fabrication of goods and services. So what are the types of industries? So industry is being classified as primary industry and again the primary industry is classified into two that is extractive industry or genetic industry. So industry can be classified as primary or secondary and primary industry is being classified as extractive and genetic industry. Secondary industry can be classified as construction industry, manufacturing industry and uh, again it, it is classified into different types. So friends, let us once again understand it. Basically, industry is classified into three, primary, secondary and tertiary. Tertiary means service. It is related to the service. So uh, as, as the goods are concerned, it can be primary or secondary industry. Primary industry can be classified into two, that is extractive industry or genetic. Secondary industry is classified as uh, construction industry and manufacturing industry. Here, uh, as uh, we have to understand in detail, the construction industry is of, uh, manufacturing industry is of four types again. Manufacturing industry may be analytical, synthetic, processing or assembly line. So here our duty is to understand all these types into detail. So let us go for primary industry. Industries which are engaged with the production of goods with the help of nature are called primary industry. That means now we have to go with the detail of it. See here, nature, as you know very well, is important for human being. We, the human beings are part of the nature. So nature helps us in doing some activities. For example, agriculture. So with the help of nature, we can undertake the task of agriculture. Because for uh, agriculture, we need the land. So we have to uh, have the soil to sow and we need water. So here, basically, we need the help of nature. With the help of nature, we can undertake it. Therefore, uh, this type of uh, activity is called as primary industries. 
these are nature oriented and human efforts is much less compared to the contribution of the nature here examples mining fishing agriculture forestry etc so agriculture as you know very well it depends upon the nature and its help in the same way if you think of fishing we depend upon the river or uh, ocean and uh, only the nature can give us this kind of uh, activity so as i have already mentioned primary industries are of two types one is genetic industry another one is extractive industry so what is genetic industry these reproduce multiple plants and animals for example poultry poultry means here we produce that is uh, hen and uh, egg etc and cattle breeding also one type of genetic industry sheep breeding prawn culture these are all examples so if you consider the poultry here we look after the hen and uh, that is uh, chickens will be there and eggs will be there and with the help of this even uh, the industry is uh, depending upon the nature only and cattle breeding as you know very well uh, we depend upon the cattle here and we have to take them to different uh, fields where we need grasslands for um, the food even we depend upon water grass etc which are the gifts of nature in the same way extractive industry is also depending upon the nature here we take out the products from earth or water or air that is called as extractive industry for example mining here we take out iron gold silver etc from the earth and for petroleum we we take it out from the water or a or even from the air we do some extractive activities quarrying here also we take the different stones from earth so that is called as quarrying or oil refineries as you know very well um petroleum etc are taken from the sea that is ocean so we take it out from the water or earth that is called as here uh extractive industries okay here you can observe the mining activity how big machines and uh, they take out the different ores from the earth and in quarrying also we take out the stones different types of stones are taken out on oil refineries here we take out the petroleum diesel kerosene etc from oceans and uh, even some earth some part of the earth so this is about the primary industry okay primary industry as i have already mentioned is uh, mainly depending upon the nature and the human efforts are comparatively lesser than that of the nature and secondary industries here they are labor oriented so we depend upon ourselves that means labor they are labor oriented industries wherein man plays major role than the nature these are further classified into construction industries and manufacturing industry there are two types um, as you know very well construction industries means construction of bridges dams houses in you know, buildings etc so they are called as construction industries these are engaged in construction of houses roads dams bridges canals and other infrastructure facilities they are called as construction industries and then comes the manufacturing industries that means conversion 
of raw materials into finished products are called as manufacturing. So these create form utility for the products manufactured. Analytical industries, they, these are of four types, you know, analytical industries means uh, these manufactured products by separating a basic raw material. That means one raw material is in the process, it will be separated into different. That means I can give the best example of crude oil, which is extracted from the ocean or from the earth. Uh, then that is called as crude oil, petroleum oil, that is crude oil. And that will be analyzed in by processings. And pure part of it will be called as petrol and another part of it will be diesel. Then the third part will be kerosene and lubricants. These are all different parts from the only one source that is crude oil. So that is called as analytical industry. So it may be synthetic industry also. So as I have already mentioned, manufacturing industries may be analytical industry or synthetic industry or it, it is of four types, you know, or uh, processing industry or assembly line. These are four types. Here synthetic industries means these produce their products by combining, mixing different materials. For example, while preparing the soap, different chemicals will be uh, ingredients for it and they will be mixed and with the help of some processes, the soap is manufactured. In the same way for manufacturing the paper, for manufacturing the cement, for manufacturing the toothpaste, we need several ingredients. They are to be mixed up and they are to be processed. So then we can prepare uh, cement or paper or toothpaste or soap, etc. So processing is second type. Okay. What is this? Processing industry means products are produced through distinct and separate stages, one after the other, one after the other, then it can be produced. So for example, textile. So how can, how will you get textile? Basically, you need cotton as a raw material. Cotton has to be processed and you will get you will get some, you, you have to go with some processes. You have to take the cotton and then waving will be taken place. Then you have to wave and you will get the textiles as a fourth stage. So there are so many different stages of getting textile out of cotton. In the same way, sugar. Basically, sugar cane will be there. You have to crush. You have to go for a crushing process. Then you will get sugar cane juice. Again, you have to go for different processes. Then you will get uh, sugar out of it as a final product. So many different processes are needed. So these are all called as processing industries. Then comes assembly line. So what is this assembly line? Assembly line means these industries assemble different parts or components into finished product. For example, cycle, scooter, television. How will you manufacture a cycle? So you need wheel, you need some uh, uh, spokes and some handle and uh, some um, seat, etc. Some basic parts are to be assembled. And finally, cycle is ready. In the same way, scooter, so many spare parts, so many spare parts will be assembled and you will get some engine, some petrol tank and uh, some spare parts again and uh, even the wheels, handle and brake and clutch or accelerator. So many spare parts are to be assembled and you will get a scooter afterwards by assembling them. So here assembling is very important even for television, even for refrigerator, even fan. 
and the computer, etc. These are all um, the products of assembly line. So, my dear friends, uh, let me repeat uh, uh, this once again for your sake as it is very important and uh, just let us have a glance over it um, and I have already mentioned you that uh, here uh, industries are classified into primary, secondary and tertiary. Tertiary industry means it is uh, purely service industry and uh, primary and secondary industries are regarding with the, the products here that is goods here primary industry is of four types that is extractive industry genetic industry construction and manufacturing industry so uh, genetic and extractive i have already explained and uh, here manufacturing industry is of Four types again, then analytical, synthetic, processing and assembly line. So my dear friends, um, let me conclude my video here. And in my next video, I will tell you many important aspects of uh, small scale industries. Let us understand the features, objectives and importance of small scale industries and uh, important uh, uh, that is the role of government in it. So let us uh, enjoy the subject and I request you to give me the feedback and let me end my video here itself. Thank you.